Hi guys, I'm Smita. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things machine learning and AI related. In the past couple of months, we've seen some tremendously huge news within tech and also machine learning as well. A lot of major tech companies like Amazon, Apple, Google, and JP Morgan, we're seeing that they are actually increasing their hiring. They're actually planning on hiring a lot more people who are specialized in machine learning and AI. For example, data scientists and machine learning engineers, and also people who know how to do ML ops. So all of these people, they are extremely in high demand. And a lot of these major tech companies have announced plans to hire thousands and thousands of people who are specializing in this. And this might come as a surprise to a lot of people. Because of the current situation, we wouldn't be expecting companies to be investing in this type of technology at this stage. But the pandemic has caused the exact opposite to happen. We're seeing that companies are actually planning to ramp up their hiring process, especially when it comes to machine learning and AI. And why exactly is that? Well. Two major things have happened since the pandemic started, which has caused this entire huge demand for machine learning engineers and data scientists. Well, the first thing was that right after the pandemic happened, a lot of top retail companies actually went bankrupt. These companies actually went bankrupt for multiple reasons. It could be that they were using legacy technology or they just couldn't adapt to the current situation or they their consumers were just not able to access their services during the pandemic. As for the companies that actually could stay afloat and actually survive during the pandemic, they noticed a tremendous amount of demand from consumers for various services which they just simply could not handle. Very early on in the pandemic, we saw that the airline industry and the travel industry was hit the hardest. A lot of people were making changes to their travel plans and a lot of customers were also canceling flights. So the airline companies which had to handle this huge influx of customers, they realized they just couldn't cope with this huge requirement for service requests. This has actually created an entire need for much better chatbots. You know those live chats that we used to have on websites, which are just not as personal as an AI-powered chatbot. And that is also one of the major reasons why we see that a lot of startups have actually come out with AI-powered chatbots because that is an extreme necessity these days. The banking industry is also a really huge industry which we saw that struggled during the pandemic. So for example, at one particular bank, there were 6 million customers who are making changes to their existing loans or to other financial products which they owned. And to actually process all of that, it would have taken that particular bank 100 days to do so. So there was definitely a need for the bank to automate this entire process using AI or machine learning. On the healthcare front, almost every single healthcare system in the world has taken a beating because of the pandemic. And there's a tremendous amount of need for some sort of digital transformation. No matter how many doctors and nurses you have, it's just not enough. So there's definitely a need to have some sort of personalized AI bot, which is able to diagnose and prescribe medicines accurately to patients. Not only that, but machine learning is also able to predict the spread of the pandemic, and also it's able to map out possible vaccines for future pandemics and also the current one. Now, with all of these considered and with all of the struggles that a lot of different industries and top companies faced, that's exactly when the second thing happened. Companies started to invest heavily in AI and machine learning technologies, and that is why there is a tremendous amount of need for people who are able to use these technologies to actually work for these companies. And that's exactly why we're seeing this aggressive hiring going on for machine learning engineers or data scientists. So what can you do about this? What can you do to actually land one of these AI or machine learning related jobs? Well, the best thing that you guys can do is actually pick up a skill like machine learning or data science. There are so many useful resources online. And also you can check out some of my other videos where I talk about exactly how you guys can learn machine learning. If you are already working for a well-known tech company, but you want to kind of shift into machine learning or data science, check out if your company offers any upskilling programs because they most likely do and it's most likely for free as well. So you guys can upskill yourself and 
maybe transfer into those type of roles. So guys, this huge demand for machine learning engineers and data scientists is just starting. In fact, this hiring process is going to continue till the end of this year and into 2022 as well. So definitely make use of these wonderful opportunities. If you are someone who is doing a career change, this is a perfect time to do that. And also if you are a fresh graduate and you're looking to get into machine learning and data science, this is also one of the best times that you guys can actually do that. I hope this video was helpful and let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments section below. Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video.